Welcome to this integrated math 3 practice test for TCAP 10 ready. We're in subpart 1, so no calculator. Wah, wah. Question number 4. Consider the equation x, divi x over 3, or x divided by 3 if you want, minus the quantity x minus 4 over 4 equals 2. What's the resulting equivalent equation after multiplying both sides by 12? Now, there's a couple ways that you can do this just because of the fact that the common denominator is actually the same as the number we're multiplying it by. You could either apply the 12 to each part, and that's fine. So let's just do it that way. When I have 12 times anything, it's 12 over 1. So that means 12x over 3. all that, and then 24. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so this becomes 4x minus, um, and you could just do 12 divided by 4 here, and then you get negative, uh, you get 3 there, sorry, x minus 4. Now I need to distribute a negative 3 to both. So 4x, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, negative 3 times negative 4 is plus 12. And that gives you this as your final answer, which is the correct answer. Now, what other what what else could you have done? Well, you could have had a common denominator here, and that's fine. The only reason I set it out to do to set it up like this is just to show you where the times twelve went. But we could do a common denominator here, of course, three times four. So that would make this four at the top because we're trying to do um, the get rid of the three on the bottom. And in this case, we have to do times 3. You have to do it by the whole term, by the way. So you end up with um, 4x minus 3 times x minus 4. And our common denominator is, of course, 12. And that's equal to 2. We haven't got to the multiply by 12 part yet. Make sure you apply the negative 3 to both these. Because the first time I did it, I actually picked C, not thinking about it. But make sure that your negatives are not there. And I do this for a living, so if I make that mistake, it's really easy to make that mistake when you're flying through a test. Now I'm ready to apply the times 12. And again, that's 12 times 1, so it's really just on the top of the uh, fraction. It's in the numerator, I should say. Those cancel, and you end up with 4x minus 3x plus 12 equals 24. So a couple ways to do it. You really don't have to have a ton of working memory for multiplication if that's a thing. Sometimes people forget that when you're in the middle of a test or whatever. But make sure you pay very close attention to things like, am I doing distributive? Have I distributed the correct sign? Because that's what they'll get you over and over and over again and laugh all the way to you not scoring as well as you should. I have no idea why they get so much joy out of that sort of thing. It's just the way that it is.